Geppetto was a carpenter who made things out of wood. He made chairs, tables, toys, and dolls. You name it, and he could. He liked his job. He had a lovely shop inside his home. But what he really wished for was a son to call his own. One day Geppetto started cutting through a wooden square. When suddenly he heard a small voice coming from somewhere. Don't cut me, said the little voice. Please spare me if you could. It sounded like the voice was coming from the block of wood. Geppetto said, I must be dreaming. There can't be such a thing. And carved the block of wood into a puppet on a string. Geppetto was so happy when his marionette was done. He thought, of all the dolls I've made, this is the nicest one. He sewed the doll a big blue hat. He painted every toe and even gave the doll a name. It was Pinocchio. <laughs> Geppetto and Pinocchio performed upon a stage. Their shows were very popular for kids of any age. But one day as they were on stage, it was the strangest thing. The puppet danced all on its own, as if it had no strings. Pinocchio was just like all other boys, but made of sturdy wood. And soon they were a common sight throughout the neighborhood. An old man walking down the street, with him a wooden boy, who jumped and ran and leaped and danced, always full of joy. Geppetto loved Pinocchio, as if the puppet was his son. Although the boy was made of wood, he was just like everyone. He went to school each morning, learned his lessons like the rest, and loved to play with other boys. At soccer, he was best. But sometimes he was naughty and did things that were wrong, like taking children's toys that to him did not belong. Once, when Geppetto asked him, Pinocchio told a lie. It wasn't me, he said, looking Geppetto in the eye. His nose began to grow and stretch right then and there. And every time he lied, it would stretch further in the air. Pinocchio was a good boy, but sometimes he forgot that telling the truth is good behavior and lying is not. When he didn't tell the truth, his friends would quickly know, because every time he lied, his nose would start to grow. <laughs> One day he came home from school. A fairy waited there. She had a magic wand and wings and sparkling blue hair. He'd never seen a fairy before and was a little shy. She smiled at him and waved her wand with a twinkle in her eye. I am a fairy godmother, she said. I'm kind and good. I'm here because I heard you wished you weren't made of wood. So listen closely. If you tell the truth from this day on, you will become a real boy and the wood will all be gone. The next morning at breakfast, when Geppetto turned his back, Pinocchio dropped a plate to the floor with a crack. When Geppetto asked Pinocchio, who broke the plate? He remembered his promise before it was too late. I didn't mean to break it. It was an accident, you see. But I cannot lie. I'm sorry, Geppetto. It was me. And what a joy. His nose did not grow one bit. Pinocchio told the truth, and that was it. Since then, he never lied to anyone again. And he always told the truth, no matter where or when. One day the fairy came and stood by Pinocchio's bed. She said some magic words and touched her wand to his head. Right away he fell asleep, 
and when he opened his eyes, he was a real boy, not a puppet. Oh, what a surprise! And they lived happily ever after. Pinocchio and his dad, Geppetto, the old carpenter, was so very glad that after wishing so long for a son of his own, he had Pinocchio, a real boy of flesh and bone. Pinocchio learned to tell the truth, and you should all know too. You should tell the truth and never lie, no matter what you do. Pinocchio.